Hello football fans. I'm out here walk I'm out here walking in what is a surprisingly windy day out here in SoCal. Hmm. Interesting. A big wind blows in this state a day after another big wind finds its way back in the White House. No, that is not a coincidence. But anyway. So yeah, week nine came and went. It was a pretty interesting week for the teams involved. So let's get to it with this recap. Yeah, it was not a good day at the office for the Packers. Um, I was looking forward to this game pretty much all season, and it didn't end well for us. We could not find an answer for the Lions, and well, we all we all saw what happened. But um, Packer fans are already on Jordan Love's case, which boggles my mind. I mean, look how we're doing. Look how we're doing. We have six wins. It took us until December to get our six win six win last year. We're doing just fine. We're still in a playoff position. Hell, the division is still within reach. We just have to kind of uh, get going on that because now with this loss, we are one down on Detroit and Minnesota as far as head-to-head. -head. So we need to get going and uh, solve those two teams on the road again. We did it last year. We can do it again. I'm dead serious. The, the Chiefs just can't keep getting away with this. They can't. I mean... This team, my, my, this team really should have lost this game, if not tied it, I don't know. But somehow this team hasn't lost the game. But they play so terribly. They, the 2024 Chiefs have to be the worst 8-0 team I've ever seen in my years watching NFL. Usually 8-0 teams play like they're 8-0 or at worst 7-1. This team plays like they're 5-3. And, and, we, and I'm saying it because they should have lost the first three games. They really should have. And it could be said that they should have lost this one. Tampa entered this game with both their wide receivers out, yet they still made a game out of it. You know, Kansas City Kansas City can't keep skating by like this. But because it's Kansas City and Mahomes, they get they get all this they say, you know, championship teams championship teams win games like that. Yeah, championship teams also blast teams are supposed to blast. Okay? I guarantee you. I guarantee you. If this was the Ravens, and they were 8-0 in the same fashion, and Lamar Jackson was having the same kind of shoddy, mediocre numbers that Mahomes was having, people would bury the Ravens and call, call Lamar a joke, you know? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Bills, the Bills have this AFC East on lockdown. I know, I know, I know. But I know I said on here before, the Bills were screwed, they're fucked. They got rid of Diggs. Josh can't function on his own. Um, they'll, they'll finish behind the Dolphins and the Jets. I said all that. Yeah. Unlike Bills fans, on the very, very, very rare moment that I'm actually wrong about something, I can own up to that. So yeah, I said the Bills would miss the playoffs. I was wrong. Okay. I've got enough. I've got enough egg in my face to make an almond, to make an omelet for all of upstate New York. Okay. Here's the thing, though, and here's the truth that Bills fans won't admit. The only reason why the Bills are up this far is because two have missed a lot of games, and Rodgers is too busy. Rodgers is too busy being a dictator uh, with the Jets organization. That's it. If so much as one of these things don't happen, we don't see the Bills in this good position. But they are. It is what it is. So, the Bills pretty much have the AFC East on lockdown. Now, please... Don't fuck it up in January again, huh? Oh, the Dallas Cowboys are, are just totally screwed. They are really, really screwed. Not only did they lose the game in Atlanta, but uh, Dak Prescott's going to be on the IR with hamstring issue, which means he's going to be out for at least a month. They say he has to miss about four games where he can be reactivated. And they're three and five now. Barely ahead of the lowly Carolina Panthers in the overall conference standings and the division, they can forget it because Washington and Philly keep winning. Washington's improved to 7-2. and two. I think they're, they're right behind Detroit in the overall conference standings. Yeah, Dallas can forget the division. They might forget a wild card. This is embarrassing. I 
driving the Cowboys are just a hot mess. Even worse, they can't seem to win at home. Now, they weren't at home this past week, but still, they can't seem to win home games. And they have two home games coming up back-to-back. -back. Even worse, they're against um, Philly and um, Houston. And Houston's a Monday night game. So, um, yeah. Dallas' season is pretty much kaput. Speaking of kaput, uh, we have our second in-season firing of the season, and it's Dennis Allen. Uh, the Saints fired him as head coach after they were defeated by the um, by the uh, uh, Carolina Panthers. Sorry. So um, yeah, the Panthers. Yeah, the Panthers were the last served as the last straw, and Dennis Allen had to go. And um, this season for the Saints has been a disaster. It really has. Proof, pretty much proof that it can always be worse in sports. But um, and, and the funny thing is, this was his third year as head coach. Now, in his first year, they were seven to ten. They were kind of mm, yeah. But last year, there was promise. Last year, they were seven. They were nine and eight. They were alive in the playoff race in the final week. Even after they won, they were still alive. Even after they lost the division, they still had a shot in the wild card. But the Packers got that last win, so that was it. Even so, the promise was there, but it's become a disaster. They've lost seven in a row since starting 2-0. Here's a scary thought. Here's a scary fact right there. One of New Orleans' two wins this year against the Cowboys in Dallas. My goodness. We were treated to a lot of overtime in Week 9. Three games with the OT, including that Monday night game. Uh, um, also in the week, a game, a pretty much meaningless game between the Patriots and Titans, Went to overtime with Tennessee winning that one. And then there was this NFC West battle between the Rams and the Seahawks. And of course, it's always hotly contested when those two teams get together, especially ever since they became division foes in uh, 2002. Now, um, the game entered OT tied at 20. Seattle had the ball first, and they were deep in the red zone, yet for some reason, they decided on 4th and 1 to go for it and not take the points. Because, um, now, a field goal would have ended overtime, but it would have put more pressure on the Rams to at least tie it, if not try to win it. The fourth and one failed, and now the Rams took over the ball, and they could um, win it with any score. But they decided to settle for the touchdown, and there's the pick, the pick of um, Robinson heading to the end zone with that ball. It was a hell of a pass, and the Rams got the win, which is their third in a row, and as a result, now, Arizona's still in first place because they beat the Bears, but um, but the Rams now moving to second at four and four, surpassing the 49ers who were off that who were off that week, and now the um, the Seahawks who started three and zero now in the bottom of the division, but it's still close, so we want to get out of first. It's going to be an interesting race the whole way. Can't wait to see who wins it. My recap of week and week ten will start uh, Thursday night football tomorrow, and we will see this man. Uh, Derrick Henry and the Baltimore Ravens up against the um, Cincinnati Bengals. That's a fancy football. That's a fancy football dream game because I'm pretty sure a lot of people have a lot of players from that game. You name it: Derrick Henry, uh, uh, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, even Justin Tucker. I know I ha I have pretty much a few of them except for Burrow, but um, it's gonna be interesting. Also, we'll be treated to the last international game of the season. Between the Giants and the Panthers. They always send the dregs to the league overseas. But yeah, um, as for the Packers, this this will be our bye week. We're going we're, we're gonna to take this bye week to recharge and get Jordan Love ready for future games. Um, the Chiefs face the Denver Broncos, the team shown here that Derrick Henry ran through in week nine. Um, Sunday night football. Is, we'll feature the, the, the Lions and the Texans, Monday Night Football, Rams, Dolphins. So that is my recap. If you like this video, click the like button. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe for more. If you're on TikTok, feel free to hit that follow button. My story about Week 9 is featured. Check it out where you can. And in that story also includes a State of the Packers address. So check out both stories. And I'll be back this time next week to recap uh, Week number 10. So stay tuned.